Hi, everybody. My name is Danielle. I'm the Community Connections Coordinator at Sarah Riel. And today we are joined by Heather and Ivy from Jewish Child and Family Services. Hello, both of you. Hello. Hi. Hi Welcome here. Thank so you. Maybe let's just quickly start off with what each of your roles are at uh, Jewish Child Family Services. Who would you like to start? <laughs> Heather, you can go first. <laughs> okay. So my name is Heather Kraut, and I am the team lead of the Older Adult Services Department at Jewish Child and Family Service. But I have, um, I guess, a, two roles, really. So I work as the team lead in Older Adult Services, and I also work in the Mental Health Department at Jewish Child and Family Service. And... Um... My name is Ivy Kopstein and I'm the coordinator of the Substance Use and Addiction Support Service at uh, JCFS. And um, there's myself and um, another social worker, Dorit Cosman, who uh, I work with. Okay, great. So you are both very busy people. <laughs> <laughs> so how can the JCFS mental health and addictions programs help the people that are part of um, that culture? Okay. Ivy, go ahead. Yeah, you go ahead. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> All right. Um, well, in the Substance Use and Addiction uh, Support Service, um, I guess because there's a lot of stigma, we want to create um, a safe space for people to be able to share their experience. So we work with both individuals and families um, to provide information um, on substance use disorder um, and, and basically to kind of dispel some myths about what substance use disorder is. Um, and also we provide referrals. Parents or individuals themselves ca can call us and looking for resources. So we would help connect people with resources. We also do individual and family counseling. Um, having addiction in the family for both the individual and the family can be traumatic. So we work with both the individual and the family um, it, with count providing counseling services. And one of the specialized programs that we offer is called CRAFT, Community Reinforcement and Family Training, which is a very um, positive approach. It's a collaborative approach to help basically with communication between the family members and the individual um, substance user. Um, as well, we provide some groups when needed, um, culturally uh, appropriate groups uh, for individuals who have a similar issue um, and spiritual support since we are a Jewish organization. Um, and I guess um, the final thing is we provide community-wide education programs to again dispel myths and uh, reduce stigma, provide information, and that sort of thing. Amazing. I really like the name that you guys have for craft. It makes mm -hmm. it, uh, it's not intimidating in any way. It sounds very inviting. Yeah. And you guys seem to have, you're really focused on, it's a family or community concern. It's not just, you know, it's the individual is going through it, but it also does, it affects the other people around it. So you're trying to build all of that up. That's really good information to know. Thank you so much, Ivy. So we touched on it You're a little welcome. bit, um, but what populations is um, Jewish Child Family Services serving? Because I mean, part of it is definitely in the name, <laughs> but are you open to, to supporting other people, Heather? Yes, so um, our mental health and our addiction services are provided to the Jewish community, um, but we have a counseling program here at the agency that is provided, that is open to the general community. So anyone can apply to see one of our contract counselors and they provide a range of services to individuals or families um, to work with a social worker at Jewish Child and Family Service in the mental health department or substance use and addictions. You have to be of the Jewish faith. Okay. And so with the counseling services then that are kind of open to everybody, is there a fee associated with those as well? There is, and we go by a sliding scale. Um, I believe that the lowest amount on the scale is $10 a session. 
Okay, awesome. So what are kind of the goals of the different programs? So I know we've talked a little bit about the mental health and the addictions programs, and those goals are very community focused. Heather, you talked about working for the older adults community. So what would some of those program goals look like? So under uh, the umbrella of our mental health program, we have sort of a different range of age groups. So in the mental health program, the age ranges from 18 to about 55. And then we have an aging mental health program, which combines the older adult services program and the mental health program. So it's for people 55 and over who are living with a mental health diagnosis and are also dealing with issues related to aging. So we, um, we provide services for the younger population around vocational training, employment services, housing. Um, and then for the older population, it's more of a transitional service from employment to retirement, what that might look like if you're not feeling well, if you have mobility issues, if you have to move from your home. Um, so we provide a wide range of services depending on what your needs are. That's great. I definitely, I think a lot of us, especially like younger folks, we go, oh, like retirement's going to be so cool. But like, yeah. all you've done is worked your whole life and then you retired. You're like, oh no, <laughs> now Ret what? Retirement is the biggest transition that one person will go through in their lifetime. Wow. And people don't realize it. It's true. Just like what you said, you think, oh, well, retirement, oh, I can finally go on that vacation or, but unfortunately, sometimes people aren't well or their mobility changes, their lifestyle changes, certainly your income loss. changes when you retire. Yeah, absolutely. So there's just a lot like, of transitions. Yes. Yeah, so, like you just mentioned, Ivy, people have lost people too. Like, so that's, that's great right. that you guys are able to support people through that. Like you said, big transition. And I guess speaking of big transitions, so Ivy, what um, are you guys doing for this whole COVID situation? How are people accessing your services right now? Well, they can call uh, the office at 204-477-7430 um, and uh, someone will get back to them. That will be the intake line. Uh, we are, we are um, doing a number of things. We have, since June, we've been able to see people face-to-face -face, um, in boardrooms, physically distant and with masks. Um, so we are able to, to do that and also outside. Well, uh, <laughs> not today, <laughs> but when the weather's good and over, the, we had such a beautiful summer that we were actually able to do that quite a bit. Um, otherwise, on the phone and virtually through Teams or Zoom, um, that, that's how we're managing it right now. Yeah. Okay, great. So we're going to make sure we put that phone number in the description. Heather, have I got it all? Is that? Uh, yeah, no, that covers it all. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Perfect. So like I said, we'll make sure we put um, the contact information you just mentioned in the description below here. Um, and speaking of other contact information, so you guys have a website, correct? We mm -hmm. do. We have a JCFS website, www.jcfswinnipeg.org. Okay, perfect. And so all of the programs and stuff, I believe, are also on there as well, right? Everything is on there. We have other programs at the agency outside right. of um, also, addictions and mental health, um, which are all on the, on the website as well. We have a fabulous employment portal a, a link at the website if anyone's interested in that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we have, um, yeah, other other services as well. We have um, um, new services to new immigrants and, um, um, oh, what else? Um, we, we're, we're a child and family service family agency service as agency. well. Um, we also have um, financial assistance yeah. program. We also have um, a psychiatrist on staff. We have a volunteer program. Oh my I gosh. Think we've covered <laughs> everything, I think. Yeah, we have quite so. a bit. Yeah. We got quite the other a bit. Thing. If anyone's interested in volunteering for our agency, you do not have to be Jewish to be a volunteer. We always can use volunteers. <laughs> 
Um, as well, which you don't have to be Jewish for, you can go on uh, Facebook. We have um, Jewish, um, Winnipeg Jewish Recovery is uh, a new Facebook page that we put out. Um, you don't have to be Jewish to access that. There's a lot of kind of um, interesting, we've just started it, so it is a work in progress. But as time goes on, we hope to have a lot of inf interesting information uh, on that so people can always access that for free. Yeah, it's a great page. I, I highly recommend you take a look at it. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, well, uh, we'll make sure we put the link to the page as well in the description below, just because especially right now, everyone's going to social media for, <laughs> yes. for everything. Yeah. Well, thank you both so much for being here yes. and for answering some questions. I do have one final question that might be the most important. Um, what is your favorite <laughs> office knickknack or item? Heather, we'll start with you. Ooh, I have mine right here since I happen to be in the office today. So I hope you guys can see it. Oh, I so love it that. Says, Beautiful. Don't let anyone ever dull your sparkle. And it has some sparkles. That's awesome. I am a Beautiful. glitter fanatic. So that is, <laughs> you just made my day with that one. <laughs> um. I don't have a knickknack, but I have a plant. <laughs> that ah. I, that's um, and there, you know, and I have a couple of plants like in really bright pots to brighten up the the office. With, Excellent, which I love having in there. So um, it's just nice to bring some life into the concrete space. Totally. I don't have a green thumb. So like, I admire when people can keep multiple plants alive. <laughs> Well, it's pretty challenging when there's no light in there. So I've gone through a few, but I still like to keep them in there. <laughs> You're still trying. That's what matters, yeah. right? Perseverance. That's right. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you again, both of you for being here. We'll make sure we put all the contact information in the description below. And thanks everyone for joining us for another resource review. Take care. Bye. Thank you. Thanks for having us.